Hello friends, in this video lecture we are going to discuss how the short circuit capacity can be used to analyze the voltage stability. So let us begin. So friends, in our previous lecture we have discussed the various things related to the voltage stability. We have discussed the different types of the voltage stability and of course we have discussed the voltage instability and voltage collapse now in this lecture we are going to discuss how the short circuit capacity can be used to analyze the voltage stability okay basically this short circuit capacity is used while deciding the sizing of the circuit breaker but it can be used to analyze the voltage stability okay so the basic definition of the short circuit capacity short circuit capacity of the bus in power system is calculated as the three phase short circuit current three phase short circuit current into rated voltage of the bus this is the basic idea or the basic formula of calculating the short circuit capacity of the bus in the power system okay basically we consider the per unit system in case of uh, calculations in the in power system okay so with that the short circuit current it can be written as a rated voltage divided by reactance or impedance at short circuit okay see uh, whenever we are required to take the actual values we go with the actual system if we are required to take the per unit value we go with the per unit values okay so the short circuit current in terms of the per unit value it can be calculated as the rated voltage divided by reactance or impedance at the short circuit okay so this is uh, as per the definition of the short circuit capacity calculation uh, we can also calculate the short circuit capacity uh, with this formula uh, it can be written as the short circuit capacity it is nothing but the amplitude of amplitude of equivalent potential divided by amplitude of equivalent impedance okay of course this amplitude of equivalent potential uh, this is the rated value and this is the uh, equivalent impedance at the short circuit okay so these are the basic things how we can calculate the short circuit capacity of the bus in case of a power system okay now let us analyze or let us understand how this short circuit capacity is useful in analyzing the voltage stability okay the large short circuit capacity indicates that the bus has strong loading capacity the bus has strong loading capacity okay as the bus if uh, if it is got the strong loading capacity then in that case the switching of load or shunt capacitor and or reactor okay the switching of this uh, thing that is the load or capacitor or reactor will not have or they will not cause a large amplitude change of the voltage okay it will not cause large amplitude change of voltage why we are getting this thing because the uh, loading capacity is strong and the loading capacity is strong when 
the short circuit capacity is large okay on the other hand if suppose the short circuit capacity is small for small short circuit capacity uh, we will not have the strong loading okay the loading capacity will be weak here the bus loading capacity will be weak in this case okay and as the loading capacity is weak a switching of this thing that is the load reactor or capacitor will cause a large amplitude change in the voltage okay so this is how if suppose if you want to have the better voltage stability okay then in that case we go for the large short circuit capacity system okay because what happened the switching of this thing will not cause any large change in the uh, amplitude of the voltage okay again you see if i consider a simple system suppose this is the generator this is the transmission link and this is the load bus and here the bus uh, load is connected okay here we are sending the voltage as e at an angle delta and the this transmission line is having a impedance as z to the angle theta the voltage received at the receiving end is v angle zero okay and here we are loading is given as sl let's say it is given as sl cos of that power factor angle phi plus sl sine of phi okay so this is how we can um, write the loading for this uh, network okay and from this okay if we use the network basics we can write the voltage that this terminal voltage okay it is v is equal to in terms of the short circuit capacity it can be written as es square divided by 2 minus es divided by short circuit capacity okay into sl cos of theta minus phi then plus minus continued here in the uh, same okay uh, plus minus square root of es square by 4 minus sl that is the loading divided by the short circuit capacity bracket square minus es by short circuit capacity into sl cos of theta minus phi okay so for this system the voltage the terminal voltage and the short circuit capacity is related with this formula okay and from this formula uh, we can obtain the plot of voltage against the short circuit capacity in terms of the per unit value okay now you see here uh, for different short circuit capacity uh, the different uh, loading we are getting here okay let me change the colors here so that we can uh, distinguish the things easily okay so you see here uh, this is voltage per unit against the short circuit capacity per unit plot okay now you see that for the different short circuit capacity uh, we are getting the different responses okay see these are the different loading okay these are uh, re respective uh, loadings okay this is a one loading this is another loading this is another loading okay for any loading let us consider the loading which is uh, indicated with this black color okay so for this loading uh, for for corresponding short circuit capacity we are getting two uh, values of the voltages okay one is the upper one and one is the lower one okay we have to consider the upper value which is the stable uh, value of the voltage and this is the unstable value of the voltage so let us not consider the lower value let us consider the upper value okay now you see that uh, for this case if the short circuit capacity if we kept at 3.0 then you can see that 
uh, the stable value of the voltage we are getting it as 1.09 okay similarly suppose if for 2.5 uh, if we take the loading at 2.5 okay for the same loading see you can see here for the same loading the voltage value the terminal voltage value for the same loading it will it will decrease okay so you can see as we are going to decrease the short circuit capacity the terminal voltage or the voltage stability is going to reduce here okay and one more point uh, that we should uh, dis mention here or discuss here is that this is the point okay if suppose if we are operating at this short circuit capacity uh, that is corresponding to 1.27 value okay so uh, for this value the upper and the lower value of the voltage is same it is coming as 0 0.69 per unit okay so this is the critical value okay we should not operate at this critical uh, values okay because a slight disturbances in this case will cause the system to uh, become unstable okay so this is how we can take the help of the short circuit capacity uh, to describe or to analyze the voltage stability so the conclusion from this we can make here is that uh, more the short circuit capacity then better will be the voltage stability thank you very much